Hey, uh, traders, Coach T Tackle Trading.com here. And, uh, you know, what I want to do is uh, do a video on step five of the seven step guide to trading. Now, we've got a free course on tackle trading. Uh, it's one of our only courses that is free. In fact, as I look at it, it is the only course that's free, but we made it free because it's so important. If you're brand new, you need some structure, you know, you need some discipline, you need some step by steps, go and watch this, go and take it. It's about a two hour course. And uh, there's, you know, seven different steps start at the top of the market, choose a trading strategy, find and analyze potential trades, plan the trade, place the trade, manage the trade and journal the trade. And I'm going to work on step five here, plan the trade. Okay. Now, <clears throat> when you find a trading candidate, for example, let's say, oh, Lululemon right and you know that you've got a trade plan well guess what there's actually i mean there's a full trade plan in tackle trading whenever we do a report in fact lulu was on the option report this week and it was one of 15 other candidates that were also on the options report so let's say that you're using a basic trade plan i've already gathered the data and i go back into the thinkorswim chart now if you want to trade options you can there's more variables to them. You got to know what system, you know, a delta system could be a long call, a bullish call spread, a bull put spread if you want to do theta. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do. Or if you want to trade stock, I mean, stock's pretty simple as well. If I know that part of my plan, and every plan has to have stop, entry, target, and position sizing, part of my plan is to find the trigger and I want to get in above 180. Well, I can right click and think or swim. I can buy custom with an OCO bracket. This first order needs to say stop limit, okay? And if I know I want to trigger above 180, I might actually go down to an intraday chart, identify the tippy top here, know that the 180 is a minimum rule. I know the ATR is 3.28, so maybe I do 180.32, you know, 10% of the ATR above the trigger point, and then 180.64. Now this first green line is a good till canceled order if I make it that way, I just set it that way, with the trigger entry and a window with a stop limit. Now both those numbers are just to get me into the trade. Uh, order entry for beginners tends to be pretty intimidating, I get it, it's where a lot of new traders make mistakes, but that's why you start in paper trading. And then I've, I know also that my stop has to be below 173, so I then will also go down to like a, an hourly chart, find 173, realize it's below all of these pivot point consolidations, back on a daily, I'm good with that. I'm gonna take 10%, excuse me, 10% of the ATR, so 33 more cents below 173, so 172.67, put it in there. And then my target, I can either do 190 or 200. Now, if I do all 100 shares at my first target, I mean, that's one available choice. That's how an OCO would, would work. I could also do like a first triggers, a couple of different OCOs. I can blast all. I don't have to sell all my shares. I could just target maybe 50, you know, and have it set up that way. But I'm just going to keep it simple and do 100 shares of everything uh, until I position size them. That's for now. But have the same sequence. And for now, I'm going to set my second target at 200. I'm going to use the second target, which is a swing to position type trade and put in 200 bucks. Now, step five is you have to, you know, have your stop. We've got that down here, 172.67. Your entry right here between 180.32 and 180.64. Uh, your target, we've got $200 set here. And now P, position size. You got to think about that, guys. Now, I've downloaded. Actually, I haven't downloaded it yet, but I'm going to. I'm going to show you where to do it. There's a journal on tackle trading in the Trade Center called the Tackle Trade Journal. Now, I would highly recommend you learn how to use all of these. Uh, in my opinion, mandatory. Now, there's three tabs, Trade Journal, Theta Research, Portfolio Journal. You'll see Download right here. I'm going to click on Trade Journal and download a fresh copy and show you what it looks like. Open it up. It's an Excel-based file. My Mac users are screaming, I know, but you might want to just build it into like sheets or something like that. I'm going to enable the editing. Now, this is where I journal the trade when I'm there, but that's not what I'm here for right now. There's a tab down here in the new version. So if you're an old student, you've been around our community for a long time, you don't have this version, go get it. It says position size. 
Now I can then put in here, let's say that I'm, you know, hypothetically running $50,000 account. I'm willing to risk 1% on my trade. So I put in $500 risk. Okay. So you first set your risk tolerance. You then build in Lulu that we're going to go long. And our entry was 180.32. 172.67 tells me that I can trade 65 shares to take that kind of risk. So it helps me position size this trade. Uh, one mistake I see beginners make quite often is they do, do 100 of everything. 100 of Lulu at 180 bucks is very different than 100 of US Steel at 15 bucks, 17 bucks, whatever it's at, right? I mean, so you have to think about position sizing, and this journal tool will help you do that. 65 shares would help me keep my risk at 500 per share. Kick them all in there, and I'm gonna show you a trick right here you guys are gonna love, by the way. And so that you don't have to do all this little button clicking every time, Save it, save the template. There's a button right here in Thinkorswim next to delete, where if you delete everything out, I can then call this a buy trigger, buy and actually stop limit trigger with stop loss and target. GTC, they're good till canceled. Now I save it, ding, 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 confirm and send. And my trade is built in my paper account so I can practice, right? That's what you guys all need to do is practice a lot and learn how to do all of the different steps. There's an example with Lulu Lemon, uh, the, you know, candidate from one of our reports this week. By the way, every weekend we have 15 or 20 different bullish and bearish picks across stock and option reports. There's all kinds of these with your, you know, kind of uh, ideas of where to put targets and stops and then you apply your own rules to make sure that you're using it within your system. Tackletrading.com, get in the game. And by the way, now if I go to another stock, let's say I go look at Amazon, for example, and I want to buy now, when I go to buy custom, instead of with OCO bracket, I just go here and now I see my buy stop limit trigger with stop loss and target and it has everything kind of already with the GTCs and the sequence that I wanted them in. Now it had 65 shares defaulted, so I still got to change that, but it kind of sets some uh, limits here. What you may want to do is actually set this to one so that you, when you save it, uh, it always comes in as one. And then if you ever make a mistake with your quantity, it would be too small, not too big. All right. Uh, anyway, tackletrading.com. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, uh, like and subscribe to all of our channels. We're on most of the major social medias. Uh, if you love one, you're, we're probably there. Go find us and, and like that channel. And, uh, you know, if you're a pro member, great. Good to have you go use the reports, learn how to do this kind of stuff. And if you're not a pro member yet, Guys, get in the game. There's a 15-day trial on the site. There's one in the comments below. Come and join us and see what we're doing on a day-by-day -day and a week-by-week -week basis as we build our community. Coach Tim, TackleTrading.com.